A residue is a trace amount of pesticide that sometimes remains in or on a crop that's been treated by a farmer. A typical residue of let's say 0.1 milligrams per kilogram is equivalent to a fly on a 10-ton truck. In the European Union, no plant protection product can be used unless it has first been scientifically established that they have no harmful effects on consumers, farmers and local residents as well as passers-by and the environment. Once pesticides are demonstrated to be safe for consumers, they have maximum residue levels set for them. These are determined based on rigorous evaluations. A maximum residue level is the maximum amount of residue that is legally permitted in food, measured in milligrams of substance per kilogram of food, based on good agricultural practices. That's why MRLs are not safety limits but trading standards. MRLs are set far below levels that could possibly pose a risk to human health, so safety is assured. To make it more concrete, to reach the non-observable adverse effect level, you would have to eat more than 7,000 tomatoes a day during your entire lifetime, containing residues of a typical pesticide at the MRL level. MRLs are not determined by the industry, but by independent government agencies who fully review each active substance present in pesticides. More than 60,000 agricultural product samples are tested for residues every year in Europe. The report shows that 95-97% to 97 of the samples tested in the latest annual residue monitoring report either contain no measurable residues or residues below the MRLs. Well, for a number of reasons, two examples are pesticides may not have been applied correctly or when exceptional climatic or crop conditions have occurred. To minimize these occurrences, the crop protection industry has set up targeted training programs for farmers and users to ensure optimal safe use of pesticides. Pesticides are safe when used properly and ensure consumers have access to a daily consumption of fruits and vegetables as part of a balanced diet.